right welcome back okay on this one it says yoruba elders take final decision on sunday boho's secession bid all right the news in details the yoruba council of elders yce has distanced itself from the secessionist call being championed by sunday adeyemo a yoruba youth leader popularly known as sunday igbo igbo had recently said yoruba is no longer part of nigeria calling on people of the ethnic group residing in the north to go back home however kunle olajide the secretary general of the yce said igbo does not represent the yoruba people in his call for secession the cable reported report states that olajide said nigeria would be stronger if it remained as a unit he added that the yoruba people had invested so much in nigeria's formation and unity and it would be unwise for them to seek secession olajide also debunked igbo's claim that yoruba monarchs and elders were behind him the yc secretary general said there was no platform where the traditional rulers met with igbo he said the yoruba people are hungry over the ethnocentric nature of the muhammad buhari administration however olajide noted that the ethnic group remains part of the country olajide urged igbo and those who believe in a secessionist call to exercise patience the guardian also reported that the yce scribe cautioned igbo to operate within the law in his agitation for an independent yoruba nation all right and then that has been it well a lot of people have reacted onto this and it has been said that well all these that all these our elders are saying is it that they have paid them some dollars okay well somebody is saying that a lot of them have been paid off so they have been paid off to suffer <clears throat> what a pity okay and then it is also said that all right and then that is the country to which we have found ourselves well so a lot of people have asked that question maybe these elders have been given some tips yes yeah, so because there's not nothing that cannot happen in the country all right and then meanwhile it has been said that it will be unwise to go after sunday Igbo. Well, to me, I think this is not funny at all. A lot of things have been you know, said and we've heard a lot of things concerning this matter against Sunday Igbo. And then also this, it has also been said that Odudua Nation, Yoruba held us this own Sunday Igbo for what? Well, the Yoruba Council of Elders has reacted to the clamor to create the Odudua Nation championed by Sunday Igbo, the council disowned Igbo for his secession move. That's what has been gathered so far. Meanwhile, according to the Secretary General of the Yoruba Council of Elders, Kunle Olajide, Nigeria would be stronger if it remained a unit. Meanwhile, Olajide described the cause for secession as Igbo's desire, nothing that Nigeria's present circumstances would not make it achievable. He added that the council is against secession because the Yoruba have invested. The Yorubas have invested so much in Nigeria's unity. Olajide said Yoruba nation or citizenship had not given anybody a mandate to desire their extension from this country. Meanwhile, the Yoruba Helder spokesman opined that the fragmentation and disembarment of Nigeria could not be in the best interest of anybody, adding that the diversity in this country is to the people's advantage. 
Meanwhile, Olajide revealed that Yoruba people are hungry over the ethnocentric nature of President Muhammad Buhari led administration. He said, despite the perceived favoritism displayed by Buhari, Igbo, or any individual, could not ignore Yoruba leaders and make a declaration. All right, and then I'll make a declaration that is not in the Yoruba nation's interest and Nigeria in general. However, he urged Igbo and his supporters to exercise patience. All right, well, on to this, no, I know this will not go well with some people, in fact, and the guests have said that, well, the only, oh, guests have said that only the elders that cannot even lead their own house can do that. All right, well, a lot of these had, you know, have been heard. Well, a lot of them are saying that, okay, the Yoruba nation have invested a lot into Nigeria, so it can't work. Because these people have invested. Well, I don't know. Somebody is asking that question. That, in fact, let me say, someone was asking the question that what, what was that thing that they have invested, and uh, yet the country is in this kind of mess. You have invested. You are investing. You are investing. Yet things are you no know, going wrong on a daily basis, and nothing is being said about it, and you keep investing. And uh, it has been said that, well, our leaders know what they are looking for. Majority of them are you know, interested in the dollars. Yes, and uh, this is talking about selfishness. Well, a lot of the majority of them, their family members, you know, which is certain, are not in Nigeria. So they believe that before it gets out of hand, they will run out of the country. And uh, that is why a lot of people who are wise have been saying that, no, let's call for separation. Allow them go. That has been the quest. Let your people go. Well, someone was saying the other time that the reason why the Northerners are saying there should be one Nigeria is because they are ruling, is because they are enjoying the benefits of the fact that they are the one ruling the country and then at the same time they have seen the other tribe as people that they can you know hold around and then because of that they know their weak points and all that so they don't want these people to leave because they are benefiting a lot from them and then meanwhile these people are tired they said we are tired that has been the agitation we want to go our separate ways <laughs> But to my greatest surprise, some I think some people do not still understand the reason why there should be separation. All right, and then that is it on this one, my people. Meanwhile, let me have more take from you on this one. And remember to subscribe for more updates. Thanks and God bless.